entrance antiphon, the disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Holy Mass for this first Friday, the month of September is being offered for the repose of the soul of Tom and Jackie Monk. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate more worthily. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Christ, have mercy. You are the true Savior of the world. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also, grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be fruitful day by day, and exulting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace, all the families of the peoples, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, learn from myself and Apollos not to go beyond what is written, so that none of you will be inflated with pride in favor of one person over against another. Who confers distinction upon you? What do you possess that you have not received? But if you have received it, why are you boasting as if you did not receive it? You are already satisfied. You have already grown rich. Indeed, you have become kings without us. Indeed, I wish that you had become kings so that we might also become kings with you. For as I see it, God has, his, God has exhibited us apostles as the last of all, like people sentenced to death. Since we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and men alike, we are fools on Christ's account. But you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. To this very hour we go hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clad and roughly treated. We wander about the homeless and we toil, working with our own hands. When, ridic when ridiculed, we bless. When, persecute, when persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we respond gently. We have become like the world's rubbish, the scum of all to this very moment. I am writing this not to shame you, but to admonish you as my beloved children. Even if you should have countless guides to Christ, yet you do not have many fathers, for I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is, the Lord near, is near to all to who all call, upon, call him. upon him. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon oh I'm sorry. The Lord is the Lord is near to all who call upon him. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord keeps all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord. And may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. The Lord is near to all who call 
Claudio. Lord Jesus Christ, please be in my heart and on my lips, and I may proclaim your gospel worthily and well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. While Jesus was going through a field of grain on a Sabbath, his disciples were picking the heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands and eating them. Some Pharisees said, why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, have you not read what David did when he and those who were with him were hungry, how he went into the house of God took the bread of offering, which only the priests could lawfully eat, and ate it and shared it with their companions. Then he said to them, The Son of Man is the Lord, is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise. Jesus Christ, be seated for a moment. One of the questions that's uh, many times asked of Catholics is why why Catholics call a priest father. And of course the answer is always because that's what St. Paul did. Kelly read for us as we make our way, continue our way through the book of St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Uh, St. Paul admonishes them, uh, the people of Corinth, as his beloved children. We have countless guides, but you do not have many fathers, for I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. They called him Father Paul, and so we still do that. It's a humbling thing uh, to be a father. I always try to be a father. Um, sometimes uh, I fail, just like I think we all fail. Uh, last night I was at, uh, at the uh, quick shop uh, across, the, across the road, and I was annoyed because because the person ahead of me forgot his wallet and had to run out to his car. Uh, I don't know if that's ever happened to you. I, um, I took forever coming back, so I'm very annoyed. I think they should call this not the quick shop. <laughs> uh, then I felt guilty because as, as he came back in and he was leaving, he said, I'm so sorry, Father, for making you wait. It's a total stranger. Uh, call me father. I think, you know, fathers should be more patient. I think we should all be more patient. Like, you know, this is uh, about 10 o'clock at night. You know, why, why did I have to be so impatient? He said, you have a real nice Labor Day weekend. I think <laughs> I was a bad father. <laughs> You know, hopefully this weekend, uh, it can be a more relaxed a weekend, an extra day off. Pray for all those who are traveling, all those going to the lake. We pray that we may be a better uh, fathers and mothers and friends and sisters and brothers, more patient, more loving in all that we do. Stand now and pray, please. Heavenly Father, in a special way, keep safe and protect all traveling this weekend. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Pray that the Lord will give to us, grant to us more patience to slow down and to enjoy this wondrous life the Lord has given to us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray for the needs of the sick and those who care for them, all of those who work in our healthcare professions, that God will bless them in their important work. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who govern us, may they seek to bridge divides among peoples, work to bring people together. Let us pray to the Lord. That each of us may seek a deeper relationship with Christ. May the grace of the Holy Spirit transform us. Let us pray to the Lord. On this first Saturday of the month, we pray for a heart like Mary, full of love for those who came to her. Let us pray to the Lord for all those who have died. 
all those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, may the angels and the saints lead them to the new heavenly Jerusalem. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Almighty and ever-loving God, please hear our prayers. Grant them in your generous mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. You may be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. O Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from all my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God and to proclaim the greatness, your greatness, with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she was found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb, and giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the Church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters all those who, by the death of Christ, are born to heavenly life. As the apostles awaited the spirit you had promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the disciples and so became the pattern of the church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love and watches in kindness over the church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Carl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. As he hung upon the cross, Jesus said to the disciple whom he loved, Behold your mother.
body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 active spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Holy Eucharist. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin's motherly help, your church may teach all nations by proclaiming the gospel, and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth. Through Christ our Lord, amen. We invite you to stay for a few minutes after Mass for our first Saturday devotions. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. You all have a real nice Labor Day weekend. <laughs> <laughs>